No, Mom, Star Wars The Force Awakens is not the first Star Wars film. You're watching them in the wrong order. Right, okay, what you're gonna wanna do is get your hands on Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, the original unaltered cut. If you wanna watch them in the correct order and not be opposing piece of shit. After watching all three original films, four, five, and six, you're then going to watch episodes one, two, and three. Exactly right, the numbers don't line up, that's intentional, that was Lucas's vision. When you get there, I want you to take note that the graphics and acting go a wildly different direction, making it feel more disconnected than the relationship I have with my son, Todd. Yeah, Todd's your grandson, Mom. Anyway, once you complete the prequels, we're then gonna move on to... The, the prequels, yes, Mom, that's what they call them. Mm, I didn't think this was gonna be so difficult to explain, Mom. There is the prequel trilogy, the original trilogy, the sidequels, the sequel, the animations, the Disney Plus spin-offs. It's not that complicated! Which reminds me, after you finish episode two, The Attack of the Clones, you're gonna need to watch all seven seasons of the Clone Wars animated series. This will give you much better insight into what's happening with the Sith and the Rising Empire. Plus it won't make Anakin seem like such a needy little who really hates sand. <laughs> You'll get there. Now I will tell you, those animated episodes are not in the correct order as they originally aired. Yeah, I will be running by a show schedule so you know which order to watch them in once you get to that point. With the Clone Wars out of the way, we can start the Bad Batch, which is only one season in so far. It's an ongoing show, so you will have to circle back eventually. In the meantime, I'm gonna have you check out Solo which is a Han Solo spin-off prequel film starring Alden Ehrenreich as the titular character. Uh, yes, I realize Harrison Ford was the original character and he's dreamy and blah, 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 blah. But the truth of the matter is he's old, mom, just like you, and he's useless and can't pull off a young character anymore. So deal with it. This movie had to be made. It's an important film to watch because we learn critical information, like how he got his blaster or his last name and that Lando may or may not be in a relationship with a computer. From there, we masterfully and seamlessly move on to season one of Kenobi on Disney+, Plus, featuring a spry Ewan McGregor, who a couple years later will be played by Alec Guinness in A New Hope. The transition is perfect. Star Wars Rebels, another animated series that went four seasons, and yeah, absolutely should be on your pew, pew, pew radar. The nice thing about this, Mom, is almost all of this can be found on Disney Plus. Because they own everything. They own everything. After taking a break at Moe's Isley Tavern, we head on over to Andor. A brand new series that will act as a bridge into Rogue One. A Star Wars story. The spice is right with this show, Mom. And once you're done, guess what? You get to rewatch episodes four, five, and six, just so you can appreciate how truly great they are. Because let's face it, up until this point, you've mostly been ingesting dog sh Now this is where the fun begins. It's of paramount importance that you also watch the Star Wars Holiday Special, which resides between Star Wars A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. You'll like this one, Mom, because it features a golden girl. No, it, it's B. Arthur. Thank you for being a friend. Da -na -na -na. Travel down the road. And now that you've gotten your beak wet with the holiday special, I highly suggest you watch the two Ewok spin off films before going into Return of the Jedi. I'm, of course, referring to the Caravan of Courage and the Battle of Endor. Top off your meal with some blue milk, and then we're off to the pod races with the Mandalorian. The first two seasons of Mando are safe to watch, but then you. What mom? Mando is short for Mandalorian. Oh my, I implore you to keep the f up with me right now. I am really quickly running out of patience with you. After two gripping seasons, you will then head to your nearest Sarlacc pit and grab the book of Boba Fett. This is critical to watch because not only does it feature Boba Fett in it, everybody's fan favorite from the past, it also acts as Mandalorian 2.5. That's right, two of these episodes for whatever reason are Mandalorian episodes. So you're not going to know what's going on in season three of Mandalorian, which is currently in production, if you didn't watch the last two episodes of the Book of Boba Fett. It's just good writing. It just makes sense. Star Wars Resistance. It's an animated show that takes place 34 years after the events of Star Wars A New Hope and features a plucky new cast of characters, including Poe Dameron. And now finally, mom, we're at the movie you stupidly started with. Star Wars, A Force Awakens. So yeah, not quite the first 
movie in the Star Wars franchise, is it, mother? Not even Glenn Close. You're now clear for takeoff to watch the next two in the trilogy, The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. What do you mean there's not this much Star Wars to watch? Are you saying I'm full of Sith? You're full of Sith! They're shooting like five more shows as we speak. Now, it sounds like you got quite the busy week ahead of you. So go on out, find that Star Wars A New Hope work print, get to watching. Love you, Mom. And may the Force be with- Hello? Mom? Hello? <laughs> Unreal. You try to help people. Wow.